Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X Wing Gaming. I'm Andrew and we're checking out Gran Turismo 7. We're going to be playing this on the DualSense Edge today so that we can uh, check out how that feels. Oh my gosh. Yep, already freaking love this troller. Yeah, this feels a lot better than a regular basic dual sense. Man, this car's a beast. Yeah, this feels a lot better. Dude, this is, this is nice. I, f I mean, I still have the same, you know, I mean, like the same obvious issue with the, with the, with the way the sticks are on the, on the, on the troller, on the PlayStation controller for driving games, but this this feels more comfortable in my hand, so it's a lot easier. My hand's not getting cramped at all. Oh yeah, I can definitely get on this one a little better. The the sticks on the back, the the help me uh, kind of brace my hands on the controller so that I can uh, actually have a little bit of uh, uh, support back there. So that. Whoa, dang, I do not like how Gran Turismo does that, man. That's so annoying. Like, my car shouldn't try to take off when it goes up that hill. Every other every other sim racing game does not have that problem. It's only this one. The car feels freaking floaty. And it does it on that, that little freaking hill right there, too. Ugh. They've changed this. This handling feels a lot different. It used to feel a lot more, a lot more on rails. So this, this, this might have been updated to feel better with with the, when when this car launched. Because everything else that I'd played, this game already already fe always felt loaded. I think I will. I think I will start using the the uh, the 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 shifters back here for. Uh, for up shifting and down shifting and stuff. So this is the new Corvette C8. Yeah, this feels a lot different. Like it 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 definitely feels more floaty than it than it used to. Look at my car's just sliding all over the place. So I'm thinking that maybe they did update this. Let's see. Some people like this view. I don't know how I feel about this one. Did this just get updated in the last couple of days or so? Because. This feels different. This feels a lot different. Than the last time I played it. And I know it's not all 100% into the controller. But my gosh. The controller does make the experience far, far smoother. Especially in this view. Dang, and this dual sense is a nice, nice troller. Yeah.
Better get all my uh, Gran Turismo 7 in before Forza Motorsport comes out, man, and literally puts this game in 100% last-gen category. I mean, this is by far the best-looking Gran Turismo there ever has been made. Um, probably the best driving model that Gran Turismo has ever had. I don't hate this game, but I just... It's not... I don't have I don't have a wheel set up for the PlayStation, so I just... I, I rarely ever play it. This is pretty nice, though. This troller, man, is definitely... Gosh, this troller has me wanting to play a bunch of these PlayStation games now. Because the haptics feel so much freaking better. Like, you can feel all this stuff so much better now. And, and it feels more refined. Now I finally understand what people are talking about with the haptic feedback. Because this troller really does intensify the the feelings of the of the haptic feedback to the point where like this actually feels good. Whoa, yeah. See, you can like feel the you can feel the car on the edge there a lot better than with the like you can feel all these little bumps and undulations and everything, man. Just it feels so nice. Like I can feel my car like bouncing in the wind. I can feel the I feel like I can feel the the downforce of the wind on the car, like when I'm moving the wheel. Like I can I, I can feel it. I can feel my brake. Yeah, like that is cool. That is really cool, man. Oh my gosh. Like I can feel that downforce. Whoa, whoa. I couldn't. I couldn't really feel it while, while I'm just like while you're just going like right here because you're you're kind of slow and stuff. But getting on that freaking that fast way right there. Ooh, man, trying to trying to break that. Like that felt cool, man. Like that felt cool. Ooh, them them little freaking them little dips and stuff right there. I could feel those. I can feel my tire when it kicks out from behind me in the car. This actually feels pretty dang good, man. Whew. This is so nice. Got to readjust my thumb like pretty often <laughs> I mean that's still got like I said like I was saying earlier it still has that that weird stick placement but but my hand is not getting all numb and tired like it was with the this is cool man this is really cool Got to slow down just a little bit. <clears throat> Sorry about the two lap thing, man. Sorry this video is going to be kind of long, but I just, I love this controller. I, I love this. This, this makes playing this game a lot, a lot better. This is by far the best PlayStation controller I've ever freaking used in my life.
the haptic feedback in this controller is so much more refined. Bill and all of that stuff is so incredible and, and it really does help when you feel like your car is kind of sliding to the, like you can, you can feel that better. A few more laps of this man and like I'll have this controller 100% down pat. And then I can uh, switch out and put my, uh, my, my other my other paddle shifters on there to uh, for the uh, for the um, ah, for the for the shifters so I can shift up and shift down. That there would be freaking. That's gonna be nice. Cause that's what I would usually normally use them on the on the Xbox with is that. This feels so great. Dual Sense Edge is making Gran Turismo 7 a funner experience, man. This is cool. I like it. I want to. F I, the reason why I'm doing this again is because I want to feel that straightaway again. I want to. I want to really feel that straightaway. See if I'm just going crazy, but I could feel the downforce, and that felt so nice. I could feel the wind pushing back against the car. I know that sounds weird. I know that I, I, I know exactly what you're thinking. Like, how oh, you, you feel the wind? You can't stop. Are you blowing in the controller? No, 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 nothing like that. It was just the, the sensation of like actually feeling like between the the throttle pedal and the the, the haptic feedback. It can it feels like it was. Sorry, this part's a little bit tricky with the PlayStation controller. Can't never seem to get the right angle. While while turning through these corners, it's just because it's so offset that when you go to turn right, it feels like left isn't too bad, but right is a little bit harder to nail. And that turn, see, like that right. I I feel like I'm pushing right, but it's not all the way engaging because I'm rocking it from side to side it's easier for me to get to the left than it is to the right but alright we're coming up on that straightaway so let me just really really focus on how this feels okay here we go we're coming up we're coming up we're coming up okay let's go punch it punch it let's get all them okay yeah so you feel the shift Feel that way. Okay, yeah, you can start to feel. Yeah, you can feel all the bumps. The shift in still. Yeah, like when you move your wheels, you can feel. Okay, yeah, you can feel that. You can feel that. Ooh. Ooh, man. You can feel that brake, the pressure, like it's like it's like it's slowing you down. Like you can. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I wish there was a little bit more, uh, okay, yeah, dude, this feels incredible on DualSense Edge. Yes, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. So, all right, man, if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be doing some more videos like this with the DualSense Edge. Uh, I wanted to cover each game independently with the, with the Edge to, to see if it enhances the quality of the game, and this definitely enhances the quality of the game, so... Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.